Do you think he knew, dressed up in camouflage as a little boy or as Superman, that someday he would be? Rob Reeves was smart, athletic, played soccer and lacrosse at Caddo Magnet. Loved to have friends over. When he was in high school, he asked me one day, he said, can I have a few people over tonight? And I said, well, sure. You know, I'm thinking five or six people sitting around the patio table. It ended up being about 200 people in my backyard. We got surrounded by the Shreveport police because the neighbors were complaining. And it became later known as Rob Stock. The boy who loved to make people laugh went to LSU for a year, then on the way home from Baton Rouge. Don't talk, just listen. And he talked for the next three hours and he laid out the next 10 years of his life. Rob was going to be a Navy SEAL. You see, his friend from high school, Jonas, had already become a SEAL, planted the seed. Rob was hooked. And he said, I'm gonna be a Navy SEAL or I'm gonna die trying. He went through buds and the horror of Hell Week. Then the deployments began. The Rob almost got killed two or three times that I know of before it actually happened. There was the bullet to the neck. Rob's went in here and came out here, and he was in the hospital about three days. Then, on a rare trip home, Rob shows his dad a video. A night mission, Rob is walking across a building full of Taliban. He fires a rocket propelled grenade out of that window. Well, the back blast from the rocket causes the pressure in the building to, to be such that it causes the roof to collapse. And the commanders back at base were watching this real time and they said, we think we just saw Rob Reese get killed. He labeled the video Rob's Roof Ride. Rob never took himself too seriously. Anytime people would come up and go, thank you for your service, he'd go, thank you for paying your taxes. And he never had any trouble with the ladies. When Rob, I've heard other SEALs tell me this, we're doing pretty good with the ladies till Rob walks in. Rob had a steady girl and was attempting to climb seven of the world's tallest mountains. Back home, he would teach lacrosse. And he was teaching some of the guys, kids, how to play lacrosse. He loved it so much. It all ended on a mountainside in Afghanistan. 37 killed, 22 SEALs, 17 members of the legendary SEAL Team 6. One of those was Rob Reeves. So I picked up the phone and I said, Jarrett, are you going to tell me Rob was on that helicopter? And he said, yes. And he was crying. And I, so I, he, I said, he's dead. He said, yes. I said, are you sure? He said, yes. The funeral at St. Mark's was powerful, especially those hundreds of Patriots standing guard. The Patriot guard was up there in uh, Makes me cry to think about it. But anyway, they, they did such a tremendous job. Dad wanted his son buried at Arlington. Rob Reeves wanted to be buried in the North Atlantic. So one morning, just at sunrise, Rob's girlfriend, his sister Emily, and his dad said goodbye the Navy SEAL way. They called him Bobby. It was moments like this and men like Rob Reeves that Clint Bruce, a SEAL who had served with Rob, must have been thinking about one warm Memorial Day morning. He put a backpack on and started walking. One older gentleman, just a ramrod straight World War II veteran, who walked as though he knew he had helped save the world, and that generation did. He turned and said something to me. He said, son? I said, yes, sir. He said, who are you carrying? Something happened. One man's journey to honor his fallen comrades became thousands carrying loads all over America. To honor the best America has to offer. Who are you carrying? 
like a little boy dressed up like Superman one Christmas morning, who grew up to be just like him.